The PGA Tour heads back to the RBC Canadian Open for this week, so let's break down my top options for DFS on FanDuel. In the upper range, I want to build around Cam Smith at 11-6, because Smith and Shane Lowry are the final guys before the first tier falloff that occurs in this field. Smith is a guy who benefits whenever we can downplay a stroke off the tee, which could be the case for this week at St. George's. Smith is a superstar everywhere else, because despite the bad off the tee play, he still ranks second in this field in Data Golf's True Strokes game across the past six months. He leads the field and approach the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. He is eighth around the green and ninth in bent grass putting. So Smith is a guy who's in play no matter what the course, but should be even more viable at a course like this one. The second guy who represents a tier fall off to me is Harold Varner III at 10-4, and I think I want to build around him as well for this week. Varner, similar to Smith, is a guy who benefits when we can downplay stroke gain off the tee. Varner ranks sixth in this field in the approach to the past six or past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. He's also sixth around the green. We've seen Varner get much better on the greens recently as well. Varner is a guy at 10-4 who ranks ninth in this field in Data Golf's true stroke gain across the past six months. I think things fall off pretty greatly after Varner. So to me, I want to get in Cam Smith plus one other stud and then Varner as the third ranked guy in my lineup to get a lot of win equity inside the top three guys in each roster. If I want to jam in guys like Cam Smith and Harold Varner the third, I got to find a value play somewhere. And to me, Adam Long is the top guy checking in $8,600. Long isn't a standout in any one area, but he is pretty solid in each department as well. Ranks 30th in Soskin off the tee the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. He is 32nd in Bentgrass putting and is decent with both his wedges and his irons. That to me is pretty much all you can ask for out of the value play for this week. So to me, Adam Long will be a focal point just because there aren't a lot of guys below nine thousand dollars who give me a path to a top 10 finish whereas I do think I get that with Long so to me Long be the first guy I turn to when trying to get salary flexibility to jam in guys like HV3 and Cam Smith for this week that's all we got here for this week on the FanDuel hurry up for the RBC Canadian Open good luck to you for this week we'll talk to you once again next week for the next major on golf schedule <laughs>